Hi everybody. I was challenged to do the ice bucket challenge by Miss Thalia Solis. Uh, but then I was thinking, how should I go about this? You know, I saw Mr. Matt Damon's video and he decided he didn't want to waste clean water, so he used toilet water. Uh, which kind of is wasting water, if you think about it. Uh, and I didn't want to go that far, because I don't really enjoy that. But I thought, how can I fulfill the challenge and not offend those goofy Facebook people? Well, I think I have a solution. Come follow me. Scene change. Okay, here I am in my shower. That's my purple towel. And here's what I'm going to do. I have some ice packs, so they're really cold. I'll uh, put one there, put one here, and I'll uh, put one like this. So it's cold already, okay? Is this working so far? Oops, that fell. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the cold water. Now, here's how this works. I need to take a shower anyway. Right? So I'm not wasting water. Ah, loophole! Here we go. Ready? I can only do this once. I can't do a second take, so I gotta get it right the first time. Okay, ready? Cold. Armpits cold. Heads cold. Ice packs. Cold water. And... Okay! Woohoo! Okay. That is my... Ice bucket challenge. <sighs> Thank you, Thalia. All right, one more quick thing and then I gotta go finish my shower. The reason for these types of things, ice bucket challenge, other things like it, wearing pink is for awareness. We want people to be aware of these diseases. We want people to be able to donate to these causes so we can help people struggling with them and we can encourage people who are helping who, those people who are struggling with them. Uh, something that I want to offer, though, from a Christian point of view is this, that every single person has a problem. We all have a disease, the disease of sin. We have this sin problem that is separating us from God. We all have lied. We all have stolen things. We have dishonored our parents. We constantly use God's name as a cuss word flippantly in our everyday conversation. We stub our toe. We say, oh my God, somebody says something weird and we say, oh my God. And that, that really is a problem. So we have, all, we have this problem, this sin problem with God. You know, we are all going to one day stand before God and have to give account for our life. And apart from Jesus Christ, every single person on this planet is lost in their sin. We have this horrible disease, this problem. And I want to say this, that for those of us who have trusted in Christ Jesus, we do have our cure. No matter what disease we have, if people who are struggling with ALS or any other kind of disease or cancer, if you have trusted Jesus Christ, you have your cure. The most important thing and you have a hope. You see, we have a hope that one day these, these bodies that we have, these imperfect bodies, will be made perfect. Because one day the dead in Christ will rise first and we will worship God forever in our perfect bodies. And so let me say this. No matter what problem we have, no matter what disease you might be struggling with, I would ask that you please consider the disease, the sin problem you have with God and correct that through Jesus Christ, because that's the most important thing we can do. Like I said, I'm constantly praying for people struggling with disease. I pray that God does help us find a cure. I pray that we can raise money for these issues. But most importantly, I pray that you will find a relationship, a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching.